Hello friends, today let's see how to make this tinder kurumbu or tinder gravy in tamarind. Uh, this is a nice accompaniment for rice dishes. Tinder usually we make uh, sabjis for uh, chapatis, rotis. Now this is a twist to the normal tinder that we make. This is a yummy recipe. Come let's see how to make it. I have heated a tablespoon of gingerly oil. To this I am going to add quarter teaspoon of mustard seeds. Quarter teaspoon of tuar dal and two pinches of fenugreek. I'm adding half an onion. I've cut a few tinders and kept ready. Around 5. I'm going to add that. Tinder is generally used for gravies and uh, dry sabjis. But it tastes very good when we make uh, kurumbu with it. Sauté in high heat for 2 or 3 minutes till the color darkens. Now we have sorted it for 2 minutes. To this I am going to add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Required salt. I am adding rock salt here. This will sweat the vegetables and bring the water out. So they will start cooking in their own juices. I am adding a tablespoon of sambar powder. Now in case you don't have sambar powder, you can add 1 tablespoon of red chilli powder and 2 tablespoons of coriander powder. It will give a nice flavour. Mix well. I am going to add a pinch of fenugreek powder to this. Fenugreek powder gives a nice smell to the kurumbu. But if you add more it will cause bitterness. We have already added fenugreek during tempering. So a pinch will be enough. Now the masala, the raw flavor of masala is gone. They are well sauteed. I have taken a small lemon sized tamarind, soaked it in water for 10 minutes. I added 2 cups of water and I have extracted the tamarind juice. I am going to add this tamarind extract to this. Mix well. Once we add the masala powders we need to be careful. We need to keep sauteing otherwise it tends to get charred. Now keep this in high heat for a few minutes till it starts bubbling. Now you can see that it is starting to bubble. A quick tip for beginners. Uh, novice people will know this very well. Now if you if you see that it is boiling from the outer side, it means that the salt we have added is not enough. Now, now during uh, breath days, we won't be able to taste the food and see whether the salt is okay or not. So this is a good uh, indicator. If it starts boiling on the sides of the vessel, then it means the salt in it is not enough. So we need to add a little bit of salt more. Experienced people will be able to tell even from the smell of the dishes that whether salt is enough or not. Now once I add salt, you will be able to see that it starts boiling, bubbling in the middle. 
Now this is the indication that the salt is enough. Now even without tasting the dish you will be able to find out whether the dish has correct amount of salt or not by this. Uh, now this has started to bubble well. I am going to reduce the heat to minimum or me or low and close this and cook for 5 minutes. You can see that it is bubbling well even in low heat. Stir well once in between and keep it covered till it is 3 fourth cooked. Now the tinda is 3 fourth cooked. Now since this is a mud pot, this even after switching off the gas, you can still see that it boils. So I am going to close this, keep it covered till it is fully cooked. Now the tinda is well cooked. You can see that the oil has come to the top. So it is ready for serving. I am going to add a little bit of jaggery to this. Jaggery enhances the taste of the kurumbu well. This is optional. If you don't want, you can leave out. Mix with and our tinda kurumbu is ready for serving. watching please like comment share and subscribe to my channel